Tell me this. Why do people buy one car over another? I've got a couple of theories on this. There's number one, which is utility or a specific need. And there's number two, I need something reliable or something with a very, very good warranty. And then there's my favorite theory. I want something that excites me. Now, let's talk Honda. I think we need to rewind back to 2008, 2009 timeframe. At that point, Hyundai, and really Korean cars in general, were just getting to the point of, for lack of a better term, not being the laughing stock of the auto industry anymore. It had taken them 20 years to get to the point where people finally realized that they were reliable, they had these incredible 10 year warranties, but you could never say that someone bought a Hyundai because they were excited about it. You and I have been to a lot of car factories over the years, but very few with their own stamping plant. Right about now you're asking, what is a stamping plant? Basically, it's a factory within a factory. It takes rolls of steel and aluminum and turns them into body panels, structural pieces, and platforms for whole cars. You see, most manufacturers farm this aspect of production out to suppliers, and the supplier in turn delivers the finished part to the OEM just in time for production. By being the contrarian investor and taking this piece back in house, kind of like Henry Ford did way back in the day, Hyundai is taking the economies of scale of this one facility and applying it to its costs and production calendar and ultimately taking control over the most important aspect of its supply chain. So enter our friend Andre Hudson. He had just come from GM Design and finished up with what became the Opel GT and the Saturn Sky. He rolls in with this stunningly sexy sedan design. And this is at a very, I don't want to say staid, but conservative Korean car manufacturer. No one thought that design would be picked. Well, lo and behold, that became the 2011 Hyundai Sonata. And that car over the past four years has proved unequivocally that theory number three is the reason why people buy cars. Remember when that car first came out? It was a couple of different engines, but they staggered the introductions. Here, they're changing things a bit uh, and let's just say I think the best way to put it is musical chairs. Let's start with this one. This is the base model. Actually, it's not the base model. It's the fancy limited model, but it has the base engine. It has 185 horsepower and 178 pound-feet of torque. Then we move up to the fancy turbo, actually the quicker turbo. It is 245 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Yes, that is down from last year, but here's why. You see this one here? The torque comes in at 4,000 RPM, relatively high. This one, the torque comes in at 1,350 RPM. Also, the fuel economy is a bit better. But this is not the one we want to talk about fuel economy. Instead, we want to talk about fuel economy with the fancy new Eco model. It does a bit of a magic trick. So what we're doing is we're taking these two engines and we're throwing them out. Then we're taking the engine from the Veloster Turbo, the 1.6 liter turbo, pull out 177 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. But here's the magic trick. Instead of 4,000 RPM like this, it's closer to this one. The torque comes in at 1,500. Now let's put aside driving and building this car for a minute to talk two very important milestones. Today, July 8th, 2014, is our show's birthday. It was five years ago that we featured, you guessed it, a Hyundai. But we also featured somebody from Hyundai. That was Miles Johnson behind the wheel of our BMW as yeah. we shot his Hyundai yeah, Equus yeah, and did the old Grey Poupon, Poupon gag. Yeah, Grey Poupon, well, friends, good old Miles is back, but instead of recreating gags there. from tired Madison Avenue copy, he's here to Thank demonstrate our future. We've been working with Apple on an integration of their CarPlay feature. To make Apple CarPlay work, all I need is an iPhone 5 and a lightning cable connection. That brings me to this screen and Apple CarPlay appears here. You can notice that I'm, I've got the Hyundai onboard navigation and all our other menus that are part of the, the Hyundai uh, AVN 4.0 system. So just-in-time manufacturing and in-house stamping plants are not the only secrets Hyundai employs here. Take a look at the line. Notice it's not just Sonatas on this one line. It's Sonatas and Elantras that share the exact same line. Even at this early stage of production, you can tell the differences. The Sonatas have blue body protectors on them, while the Elantras are green. Now, multiple car models going down one line is not unique to Hyundai, but what is special here is the sheer volume. As a basis of comparison, do you remember when we went to the Corvette facility up in Bowling Green, Kentucky? Back then, they were doing one shift a day. Now, they're up to two shifts a day. Here at this facility, they do three 
eight hour shifts a day. But that's what we need just to be able to build 73 units per hour or 1,550 cars every day. And what's even more mind boggling, that results in a delivery of parts every single minute of every day. You may remember in our last Hyundai film, we had the great pleasure of being joined by longtime friend Matthew Becker of Lotus. Sadly, Matthew will not be joining us because he didn't tune this car like he did the Genesis. Alas, there are some changes. The front suspension, they've gone with stiffer bushings. The rear suspension, they've gone from a single arm to a dual arm. And then they pilfered the rack-mounted power steering from the Genesis and dropped it into the Sonata. Does that drastically change the characteristics of this car? Uh, no. Uh, think of it this way. Think of handling in the midsize market as a spectrum. You've got the Mazda 6 on the higher end of the spectrum, and you've got the Sonata on the lower end of the spectrum. And you need to decide where you want to be. Do you want a car that's going to be stiffer around corners, or do you want something that's going to be a little bit more softly sprung and compliant? This is one of the reasons why Hyundai is able to give you a little bit more on the interior or other parts of the car, because they're not putting as much into a fancy multi-link rear suspension. And just look at the inside, really, to kind of prove that point. It's no longer this wild interior like the old one had, where everything is kind of centered and it shares information with everybody in the car. This has a very mature, driver-focused instrument panel. Even look at this. I don't know if it's real, but it's got this wood finish here um, with better grains on the dash and the door panels. I love this expanse here. It's like a full-on dash panel from like an old school, like almost a British sports car. Remember like uh, Jensen's, they had dashboards like this. Kind of a nice touch here. The integration allows us to run the onboard navigation and CarPlay at the same time. And this is a unique to Hyundai, this part. R right, the integration part of it. And so where Hyundai is thinking is that you are dependent dependent on a cell connection uh, with the phone to use navigation or Apple Maps. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a remote location like we were today in rural Alabama where you have no cell service, you would be relying on your onboard navigation system. I can also access all my menus so I can have the regular radio the playing, the but then I can also ask Siri questions. Did the United States win their game yesterday? United States narrowly lost to Germany yesterday. The final score was 1-0. to zero. So we normally don't show you guys the behind the scenes, but something happened on this shoot that was incredibly relevant to both the car and especially the location in which we were filming. So Christine! I didn't have breakfast this morning. No, you didn't miss no. breakfast. But we still got to the presentation on time. Yeah. Got the car, drove it off the factory line, um, and we were working diligently. And then what happened? Um, and then you uh, told me I haven't been to the South, and uh, I should try some chicken strips that are uh, life changing. Life changing. Said, is right. life -changing yes, I believe yeah. though that was the term. <laughs> so then, what did you do after I said that? So after you said that, I used a Google POI function, looked up Zaxby's. And it happened to be on the way to our lunch stop, on just the drive route. Just like that. Just happened to be, yeah. Well, when in Rome. Yes, we must. Exactly. Do I need to eat the sauce? I gave y'all an extra sauce because I didn't know if you ever tried the sauce before. You know what? Try it without the sauce first. That is really good. What's your name? Zavi. Zavi? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Zavi at Zaxby's? Zavi at Really? <laughs> you are so getting me the best experience here. I'm going to tell Zach about you. Okay. He's uh, going to like that. Zavi at Zaxby's. Yes, sir. You have a message from Miles Johnson. He is and it is hot here in Alabama. So you can see what you're not seeing is the words of the text message. So Everything. Only in, you only hear it. It's all in voice. So after getting to know Hyundai's Montgomery manufacturing facility, I don't know why, but I felt the burning desire to build something. So I asked the folks there if I could join a shift, perhaps lend a hand. And they found a spot that was just about my speed. Is there a safety? Put aside Steve up on stage way back in the day showing you the iPod. 
Instead, think back to the time when you first got your own mitts on one, when you used the scroll wheel and it just clicked. Oh my God, how many songs can this thing hold? And in that very moment, your life changed forever. Well, friends, and I don't say this lightly, short of someone powering up Skynet, CarPlay is about to have a huge impact on your life. Now really think about this. The device you carry around in your pocket, the one, if you're really being honest with yourself, you interact with, what, 100, 200 times a day, is about to merge, replicate itself in the one place that you spend the majority of your day in. If you frame it in that context, I'm not entirely convinced that CarPlay is not Skynet. Okay, so if you're taking stock, they've gone from no one takes us seriously to people take us seriously, but no one really wants to hang out with us. And now they're kind of like, hey, it's the cute girl that people want to hang out with. So now they want to be like, hey, do you want to be liked or do you want to be respected? So the 2011 Hyundai was, I want to be liked, I want to be liked, I want to be liked where the 2015 Sonata is, you know what? I want to be respected. So click here to watch one of our 250 other episodes. Click here to subscribe. And can we ask you guys a favor? Can you watch these within the first 36 hours? Because it gets us more views, which gets us more dollars, which gets you more episodes. And of course, follow us, Motoman TV, all one word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time.